So next topic is simplification of context-free grammar. So you already studied what is a uh, context-free grammar. So context-free grammar is a type 2 grammar, right? The corresponding language is context-free languages and the machine accepted all the context-free languages are nothing but pushed down automata that you will study in the upcoming videos okay so simplification of context free grammar so in this i am going to explain you how to simplify a given context free grammar okay that means a context free grammar should not contains epsilon production otherwise known as null production so epsilon production means in the form a gives epsilon like that okay then unit production useless symbol so i will explain you uh, in this video about how to eliminate epsilon production or null production from the given context free grammar so we can see how to eliminate a null production from a given context free grammar okay so in a context free grammar a non terminal symbol any symbol any non terminal suppose i am taking the non terminal symbol a in a nullable variable if there is a production of the form a gives epsilon so this is a null production okay so if it is form non-terminal gives epsilon or there is a derivation which start from a and we are deriving and last we are getting some epsilon okay so that is there is a derivation that starts in a and leads to epsilon if there is such derivations then we need to eliminate that epsilon production from the given grammar okay so before eliminating this thing you need to check whether a language contains epsilon or not that is the language generated by the grammar a grammar generate the languages right the grammars are nothing but generators so a context free gra a language generated by a context free grammar contains epsilon production or that doesn't contains epsilon production okay suppose i am taking a language l is equal to some epsilon is there then a b a a a b b a b b so this thing you already know set of uh, all strings uh, that contains length at most 2 okay so see length 0 length 1 length 2 okay so this contains epsilon language contains epsilon suppose i am taking another language l2 which is equal to set of all strings starting with a so here it doesn't contain any epsilon right so so in this case the uh, language generated by the grammar contains some epsilon and here there is no epsilon product epsilon okay so if there is any epsilon in the if the, there is any epsilon in the language you should not eliminate all the epsilon production from the grammar that is if the language generated by the con uh, grammar contains some epsilon productions okay that is the epsilon is belonging to the language epsilon this epsilon is belonging to the language then we will not be able to eliminate all the epsilon production since epsilon is also present in the language but this epsilon is generating so you can't eliminate epsilon production but if the language doesn't contains epsilon then we can easily eliminate epsilon from the epsilon production all the epsilon production or null production from the grammar okay this this thing you need to consider so let's see one example so this is our grammar you can see the epsilon production here a gives epsilon and b gives epsilon right so how to eliminate epsilon sim, uh, epsilon production from the given grammar so the epsilon null productions here are null production here are a gives epsilon and b gives epsilon right so i am going to uh, uh, eliminate a gives epsilon that is i am going to eliminate a gives epsilon that is this production i am going to eliminate so in order to eliminate an epsilon production that is a gives epsilon you need to check all the productions that contains a in the rhs so here in the rhs part you can see a here you can see a here you can see a so i am going to eliminate this thing okay so if I am putting A with epsilon for this first A, we will get B, A, C. Right? If I am putting epsilon for this A, I will get A, B, C. If I am putting A, epsilon for both A, I will get B and C. Okay. Here also, I am replacing A with epsilon. So, I will get, I am eliminating epsilon, right? So, I will get A. Thus, I eliminated a gives epsilon from this grammar so i eliminated a gives epsilon 
now the production becomes like this now i am going to eliminate b gives epsilon so you need to check all the uh, production that contains b in the rhs here b you can see here 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 and here okay if i am putting epsilon for this b i will get a a c if i am putting epsilon here i will get a c if i am putting epsilon for this b sorry here i will i i am getting b c right putting epsilon mm same thing if i am putting epsilon for this b i will get a c this also same thing right i am putting epsilon for this b i will get c this is a c okay a c so uh, then we can see b epsilon sorry b here i need to eliminate this epsilon production b gives epsilon production so i am replacing this b with epsilon so i will get a b only b then b with epsilon so b is only there so i am eliminating the epsilon production okay so this is our final contact uh, La final context free grammar after elimination of null production from the given context free grammar okay so in this way you need to eliminate all the null production from the given grammar so uh, already i told you if a language generated by the grammar contains epsilon production you can't eliminate the epsilon production here how we can check whether the grammar contains uh, the language contains epsilon production so the start symbol if i am putting a with epsilon then b with epsilon and a with epsilon Sim finally i will get c but c is deriving small c so it is not producing any epsilon production star symbol is not producing any epsilon symbol okay so the language doesn't contains any epsilon production epsilon uh, symbol epsilon string okay so next example we will see so next example eliminating epsilon production uh, null production so here you can see only one null production here so if there is any null production you need to take the nullable variable in the right hand side and put epsilon so here i can see a in the rhs part here okay if i am putting epsilon here i will get ab right ab is already there no need to write again so what we will get the only production is asb or ab so this is the final Uh, context free grammar after eliminating nullable variables see another example here also you can see two null productions a gives epsilon and b gives epsilon so if i am going to eliminate a gives epsilon i need to see all the production that contains a in the rhs here a in the rhs is in these two production so if i am putting a with epsilon i will get i am rewriting again once again so the grammar is yes gives a b a gives a a a or epsilon i am i am going to eliminate epsilon right b gives b b b or epsilon epsilon i am going to eliminate so i first i am going to eliminate a gives epsilon so i need to see all the production that contains the nullable variable a in the right hand side okay here i can see a here also i can see a here also i can see a if i am putting a with epsilon i will get b here right if i am putting a epsilon here i will get a a if i am putting epsilon for this one again i will get a a if i am putting epsilon for both a i will get small a okay so i already told you whether the, you need to check whether the grammar is generating some epsilon productions see here if i am putting a with epsilon already a gives epsilon production is here a gives epsilon okay and b gives up these are the two nullable productions okay so this is our start symbol is if i am putting a with epsilon and b with epsilon i will get s gives epsilon this indicates that the grammar uh, the language generated by the grammar consists of epsilon in the language so epsilon is belonging to the language so definitely some epsilon production is there okay so first you need to check whether the language contains epsilon or not if the language contains epsilon you can't eliminate the epsilon in the previous example there was uh, no epsilon in that particular language so no need to write any epsilon symbol here here if i am here you we can see two epsilon productions here a gives epsilon and b gives epsilon if i am putting epsilon for this one and this one i will get some epsilon that is s is generating some epsilon that means the language contains some epsilon production so we should write that epsilon we can't eliminate this particular epsilon production because the language already contains a uh, language is generating some epsilon okay then i need to eliminate 
so after doing this i eliminated a gives epsilon right then i need to eliminate b gives epsilon if i want to eliminate b gives epsilon i need to see all the production that contains b in the rhs part so this is our grammar now i i can see b here so i need to eliminate right so i will get a here right if i am putting b anyway i will get epsilon and then if i am putting epsilon for this b i will get bb if i am putting epsilon for both b i will get b so this is a final context free grammar after eliminating all the null productions okay so in the next video we will see how to eliminate unit production from the grammar and after that we will see how to eliminate useless symbols okay